NXT Roadblock 2023 is this upcoming Tuesday. It is the predictions video for you here today here on SCW. Five matches in total, plus a segment with Grayson Waller and Shawn Michaels. The Grayson Waller Effect Show will be the final thing I'll be talking about today because I have a prediction for that segment as well. So plenty to discuss. Let's get straight into it as it's the final pit stop before we get to stand and deliver the biggest show in the calendar year for NXT on WrestleMania weekend. So let's kick things off, shall we? Let's talk about Gigi Dolan against JC Jane, former tag team partners, of course, both failing to win the NXT Women's uh, Championship, of course, at Vengeance Day. Of course, there'd been friction as well at that point between the Toxic Attraction members. The breakup took place on the Ding Dong Hello Show, hosted by Bailey. Jane attacking Dolan, uh, of course, effectively ending that partnership. Of course, there have been multiple time women's tag team champions in NXT as well. Uh, of course, it just ends the Toxic Attraction brand as well since Mandy Rose has been released. But of course, the big question is, who is the Shawn Michaels? Who is the Marty Genetics? Even been referenced in promos. This is probably the most similar breakup segment we've ever seen compared to the barbershop that we saw in 1992 when Shawn Michaels, the head booker, by the way, turned on Marty Jannetty. But to give a prediction going into this match for me, I don't think that this is one and done. I expect shenanigans. I wouldn't be surprised if JC was DQ'd, but I expect her to actually win the match via, as I said, some sort of cheating shenanigans to get one over on Gigi Dolan. And I think that we'll get a rematch at Stand and Deliver. And I think, as they've been saying, who is the last one standing? Mandy is gone. I can see it being a last woman standing match. And of course, uh, JC has said, you know, she is the one that will be the one that's going to go forward into the stratosphere, becoming champion, leaving Gigi in the background. Gigi has said she's faced adversity her whole life and she's not going to stop now. So this is a match I'm really looking forward to here between these two ladies. But yeah, to give my prediction, I think JC Jane wins or gets DQ'd, but I don't think that Gigi Dolan will win clean. I think this goes over to stand and deliver. Uh, speaking of this, we've got a jailhouse street fight. Of course, one will be winning and one will be going to the slammer. Dijak going against Tony D'Angelo. Um, this has been going on all year, so this hopefully is the closer of this feud. I believe Tony D'Angelo made the challenge out there to Dijak. So as much as a part of me feels that D'Angelo needs a big win here, I think Dijak will be winning. And if one of them is spending the night in the slammer, very similar to Summer Sam 1991 with the big boss man and the Mountie, maybe we'll get some entertaining backstage segments with Tony D'Angelo because I think he'll be losing the match and I think Dijak would be the one winning so I think D'Angelo spends a night in the slammer. Next let's talk about Andre Chase going against Joe Gacy of course the head leader of Chase U University against the leader of Schism. Uh, it seems that Joe Gacy wants to get as many followers as possible and what better way than to take down the Chase U University. They have that whole section in the NXT crowd each and every week. Could you imagine the uh, Schism Universe in the crowd each and every week. I think that that's what they're looking to go for. Uh, Andre Chance though, looking to try and give them that big ass whooping. I don't see it happening. I think Joe Gacy picks up the win here. Again, I think this feud will carry on perhaps with the two stables going, you know, three on three or four on four, depending on how they want to do it. For me, it's Duke Hudson who's the key in this. He's the one that's gonna have to need to step up for Chase U later down the line. And we know there's been a little bit of friction in and amongst the Chase U group also. Could there be a tease that perhaps maybe Duke Hudson could be the one that could be tempted over to the schism. I quite like where this storyline is currently heading. So for me, quite invested, but Joe Gacy is my prediction. Uh, we've got Bron Breaker uh, and the Creed Brothers going against Judah Mahal and Inda Share. For me, I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. There's no way Bron Breaker and the Creed Brothers are not winning this match. As much as Jinder and Inda Share are the you know, united faction here, and we've seen that, uh, of course, the Creed Brothers needed a tag team partner for this match. Bron Breaker is not losing this close to stand and deliver. Him and Carmelo Hayes are looking to come to a collision course. I wouldn't be surprised if that match is made for stand and deliver on this show after Breaker picks up the victory for his team. Last but not least, let's talk about Roxanne Perez defending the NXT Women's Championship against Miko Satomura. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this main event's the show when it comes to matches. Uh, of course, uh, Miko came over as Roxanne Perez's tag team partner uh, to go against Katana Chance and Caden Carter. After getting that favor though, Roxanne Perez had to give a favor back to Miko. And of course, that was to grant her a championship opportunity at the NXT Women's Championship. 
It is the legend, the final boss, Miko Satomura, against the upcoming starlet that is Roxanne Perez. And of course, Roxanne is the future. Tiffany Stratton, again, the future, waiting in the wings for the winner of this match for Stand and Deliver. I think Roxanne Perez will pick up the win here. It's a very credible uh, win to get on her NXT Women's Championship reign so far. And of course, overcoming toxic attraction as well. Roxanne Perez going in with so much momentum into WrestleMania weekend and Tiffany Stratton will be a fantastic match. I'm really looking forward to that. So yeah, press for me to pick up the victory. Last but not least, let's talk about the Grayson Waller Effect show. Of course, he's got his guest, Shawn Michaels, going to be on the show here. Now, there's been a bit of friction between the two since the Vengeance Day show after the Steel Cage match. Uh, he stormed into Shawn Michaels' office, uh, resulting in a suspension for a week. There's more, been more confrontations since then on the February 21st episode of NXT. Uh, Waller has told Michaels to meet him face-to-face -face here at Roadblock, which, of course, was confirmed this past week. I think that we're going to see Grayson Waller Basically, throw you know his toys out of the pram. He's going to try and find a way to get a match against Bron Breaker. Perhaps even try and get HBK out of retirement for one more match. But I don't think Shawn Michaels will give in. I think it's going to be played down to Shawn Michaels' favourites getting the opportunities and the fact that all the new people that come into NXT get pushed ahead of him. And I think that that's going to lead to a debut of Dragon Lee, who was signed with WWE to be a part of the NXT brand. And I think another match will be made for Stand and Deliver. Grayson Waller against Dragon Lee and I reckon if Grayson Waller loses that match he'll be forced to leave NXT. So that's my predictions there for you for Roadblock 2023. Let me know your predictions now in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video then please do consider hitting the like button, subscribe if you're new here and share it with a friend. Sharing is caring after all and it helps this channel grow. In the meantime check out these videos on the side of your screen and thank you for watching as always. Look after yourselves and I will see you here next time with a couple more NXT videos dropping in the week as well including uh, how I would book, stand and deliver. Uh, but that's all for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.